everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I hope everyone's doing well. By the time you all see this video, it's probably going to be closer to Friday for most of you because I am on the East Coast. It's late. I'm exhausted. I spent a lot of time out in the yard today doing inside chores. My back is killing me. I'm pooped out. But you're not here for me. You're here for all the things I want to show you. I, I don't often probably sit in awe with nothing to say no no i really don't sit in awe with nothing to say very often but what i'm trying to say here is i found some amazing finds at dollar tree i was like i think almost every item here that i have is almost a brand name i don't even know where to begin so let me just begin all right yep i'm just kind of hanging out in the room that's still i'm down to like three different colors for paint i really love the purple but the purple for me is so Kahlua um, and it's hard um, even though she's in here and my other puppy's in here Zoe um, it's still hard for me so I don't know I'm stuck on three different colors but at some point I'm gonna get them switched over so I'm I just got out of the shower you can see some of my sunburn here burnt my hand really bad look at this I don't know if you can see it on screen or even tell but right here grease from bacon um, I was pouring out um, a frying pan full of grease and it splashed back up and got me so it's been yeah one of those evenings but anyways all right enough about me Whew. let's begin sit down grab a drink grab your wish list and your pen and your paper and let's go let's start off with something from miss mia very very choosy about the things that i bring home from dollar tree for the dog so it has to be brand name <clears throat> packaged well and you know i'm not going to get anything cheesy but that's just me purina which is a brand name begging full size original with bacon on the go 1.25 ounces i picked up a couple of these look at the little piggies on the back i just noticed that so i picked up a couple packages of these because these are yummy they're made in the united states of america in fact purina sorry my oh my allergies have been so bad um purina is actually in southern illinois so grab some of those for um, Miss Mia. And in a pinch, this is just my secret. Um, if you're making BLTs and you don't have enough bacon, give yourself the good bacon. Give the man these. I'll never know the difference. It's just my secret. Okay, moving on. <laughs> also for Miss Mia, this is Purina. Another on-the-go, active, fresh, fight bad breath at its source. It's a 1.1 ounce for large puppies, which she happens to be. She'll be 11 months old this month already. I can't believe she's going to be a year old next month. Um, Mia's birthday is July 20th. Somebody asked me her birthday is July 20th. So I got that for her. I'm surprised she hasn't bolted in here yet. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had a froggy in my throat. I have one other item for Mia. Here it is. Um, this is also Purina, and this is Busty. Oh, Busty Bone. Where is my brain? <coughs> busty Bone. <laughs> It's Busy Bone, um, long lasting chew, one package, 1.17 ounce. So you get one big piece. Oh, I wasn't sure if you're gonna see it, but yeah, you can see it right there. So I grabbed that from Miss Mia. And that was pretty much it, the treats for Miss Mia. Let's jump over to, this is kind of a repeat purchase, but I did wanna pick up another one because I think this is a really, really good buy. The Bakersfield um, Pure Vanilla, Pure Vanilla? This video is going to be full of bloopers, I can tell, and I'm just going to roll with it. So you all have to roll with me. If you're brand new and seeing this and going, what is this chick? Yeah, I am, a little bit. Bakersfield, the pure vanilla extract. I picked up another bottle. That is a brand name. Very exciting find for me. Um, I use a lot of vanilla in baking around here. Okay, so since I kind of dove into baking a little bit, let's stay with baking a little bit more. Um, or let's just stay with like food stuff. Picked up another container of the seven ounce of the Japanese style breadcrumbs, the panko breadcrumbs. Love, love, love these. I use these, even though it says, you know, vegetables, cutlets, seafoods. I do this with um, like my chicken cutlets and stuff and all oh, this stuff is so good. I like that crunch it gives you on top. They also had, I thought I had, yeah. Also needed some Italian breadcrumbs. So I picked up a container of those. That you get the 13 ounces in. So that's always a good buy. These are, uh, the Kelowna is a good brand for breadcrumbs. I enjoy those quite a bit. 
All right, let's stay with food here. Some exciting new food finds. OMG. <clears throat> We're all about brand names tonight. So let's go to Betty Crocker, shall we? <clears throat> now I got a fur ball. Mmm. 6.5 ounces. I picked up some more of the Betty Crocker muffin mixes. Now, the muffin mixes can be used for pancakes as well. I do that all the time. These muffin mixes make six muffins. So I usually get two packages. Like if it's just me, I'll make use one of these and you'll get like some like about six really good sized pancakes and they're yummy. Trust me, try it. You only need a half a cup of either milk or water. I tend to use the milk. I'll usually mix two of these together and make a dozen muffins. They're really good. So simple. You pour it in, throw in your milk, throw in your water. I just prefer milk, but you know, some of you may prefer water. Either or, it works great. And I think the cookie, what is the baking time? 400. I put mine at 375. Everybody's ovens roll differently. It says bake 17 to 22 minutes. I put mine at 15 minutes at 375 and they come out perfect. I also picked up two packages of the triple berry muffin, which these are really, really good, especially for pancakes. All right, let's stay with brand names. Whew, who doesn't love Fruit Loops? I know that this is really not a great buy, but it's cute and I thought it was fun and it was new, so I grabbed it. Um, 1.5 ounces and those are the Kellogg's Fruit Loops. And you know what? Somebody had mentioned to me, you know, how do you just like just I was like you know I pour milk in this people think I'm probably weird but if you take some of these out and you're in a pinch just pour milk in there isn't that the whole point of this cup is to put milk in it to eat your fruit loops out of it or is that just me I don't know that's what I thought it was for anyways okay maybe I'm doing something wrong and never even knew it all right let's go to Miss Duncan Hines shall we OMG <clears throat> I don't even know what these retail for in the store I can tell you this, they're good until February of 2023, so it's not like these are getting ready to expire anytime soon. Duncan Hines, let's throw it around. Duncan Hines, cinnamon coffee cakes, four individual cakes, bam. I was like, what? So yeah, I didn't just get one, I did get two. I was like, are you kidding me? Cinnamon coffee cake in a cup? Gonna have to give these a try. If anyone's interested in me doing a um, video, hit me up down below and let me know. Also with a Duncan Hines, I feel bad because I'm like all slumped over here. It's just like such a bad cake. I'm sorry. Duncan Hines, four individual pouches. Again, mug cakes, and these are blueberry muffin. I've never made these before. These are good until January of 2023, so still plenty of time. But basically it says for microwave instructions, empty one pouch into a microwave safe mug, add two tablespoons of water <clears throat> or milk, stir with spoon, pop it into the microwave for 55 seconds. That's it, 55 seconds? And cool for two minutes. Hmm, okay, so I'm definitely gonna give these a try. Maybe I'll do a video of making one. I don't know, you guys let me know down below. So I grabbed two packages of the blueberry. Let's bounce over to, actually no, we'll stay with another Duncan Hines product. Perfectly moist, yes I am. This is the one, it should, actually it's 14.18 ounces and it's perfectly moist. Oh, I don't know what I like better, the cake on the back or the cake on the front. So I bought two cake mixes so I could make each one. Anyways, this is the signature. And I've never seen this flavor before at the store. So I may even make it, maybe I'll make, I don't know, I have so many treats here. When am I gonna find time to make all these? But yum, 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 yum. All right, now, should we stay with some more fun foods? Yeah, we'll stay with some more fun foods. So more Duncan Hines. I was like jumping up and down when I saw these because I thought for sure I probably wouldn't find these. All right, these are 2.15 ounces. They are the Duncan Hines Galaxy Cake Cups. Ooh. Oh my goodness, look at these babies. On the top is where you get, look at those funky colored sprinkles. So here is your cake mix. So according to this, <clears throat> do not eat raw batter. It jumps out and says that to you right there, bam. Um, remove lid and film from cup. 
Do not microwave with the top on. Please, people, don't, don't do that. Um, tap couple to level cake mix. Add cold water to fill to the line. Stir well. Microwave on high for one minute. All righty. So I'm going to give these a try, too. So maybe it'll be a day where I'm just, like, munching on munchy. So I did grab a couple. I not only found this one here, which is chocolate cake mix with flavored sprinkles. I also found... <clears throat> Same size, this one is vanilla flavored purple. I said purple cake. It's a purple cake. I'm not just giving you the jazz, man. It's a purple cake. So this was totally worth the extra coin. Um, yeah, so vanilla flavored purple cake with sprinkles. Look at those sprinkles. Do you see them? The little um, iridescent white balls, the little iridescent purple ball. Oh my gosh, right? So not only did I find two, I found three. This one is vanilla flavored pink cake. Oh, what, what? Look at that. And look at the unicorny and look at those sprinkles. I mean, they're not screwing around here. So yeah, I was like, what? I did get two of each one. Bam, bam, bam. So I'm definitely looking forward to giving all these a try. That's, these are gonna fly. They're gonna fly. How perfect, <coughs> excuse me, if you were doing a birthday party and every kid got one of the, oh my gosh, the, the possibilities are endless. I get so psyched up over stuff like this, it's not even funny. All right, moving on. Let's say now we're going to bake these cakes. Well, we need something to decorate these cakes with, right? La, 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 la. <clears throat> Bakersfield. So when I got the Bakersfield vanilla the other day, I kind of made some comments on my channel. I was like, you know, why is this name ringing a bell, ringing a bell, ringing a bell? It's got to be a brand name. It is a brand name. So I not only found the Bakersfield vanilla, but I found Bakersfield rainbow sugar pearls, a three ounce bag. Look at those. They're like got iridescent kind of on them. These are the bomb. Not only did I found those, I found the 3.5 ounce of rainbow sprinkles. <clears throat> so there's those, and then there's those. And last but not least, <clears throat> rainbow and sugar pearl pastel beads. So look at that. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what? <laughs> So lots of fun going on here. Um, if you want to be having some fun with the young ones, old ones, whatever ones, <clears throat> definitely all kinds of snacks and fun things to find at Dollar Tree food wise. All right, so let's jump away. Now I got like the munchies. <clears throat> I need chocolate and I have no chocolate. All right, so let's keep going here <clears throat> because I have another amazing brand name. And this is in the clothing department clothing did I say clothing I did just my size comfort top capris what capris I took it out of the package because I have it here next to me but take a look at that I was like get out of here so here's what it looks like in the packaging because I obviously snagged several now <clears throat> I'm seeing up here that they are plus size, which you can see right up there. The ones I found were all plus size. I found three, four of the Comfort Top Capris, just my size. They look like this. So what I did was I opened, I took one out of the packaging and I was like, is it me? But <clears throat> I mean, I know this stuff is kind of tight, but <laughs> I'm lucky if I could fit my arm in there. I don't know. I mean, is it me or do these, or are they supposed to like really, oh, maybe they're supposed to like super, 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 no, maybe they're so supposed to, I'm um, like super, super stretch. I don't know. Anyway, I thought, wow, what a good buy. <laughs> oh my God. I'm tired. I'm really tired. Um, what a good buy. I would definitely keep your eyes open at the store because I think these are going to super, super fly out the door. I was just a little concerned about this. You know what? Let me just open another package because now I got my hair all moved up. You guys know me. Let me just take another pair out of the package because I'm really, really curious. Is that like, I looked inside and I couldn't find a tag. 
Okay, so I'm, I mean, there's a tag, but not a tag with the size. Oops, wrong way. No, I guess, okay. Well, they're saying that that's a 4X. These are beautiful. I have to say they are ribbed on the bottom. They're really nice. Wow. I mean, they're really, really nice. Okay, so I guess that's the way they're supposed to look. Anyways, let's move on. Just a couple more things. I'm almost at my 17 minutes, Patty. Oh, I'm just joking. All right, so we have size 1X and size 2X going on here, and I did find an extra large. Okay, so large through extra large. Style Essentials, Hanes. Now we're into Hanes, one pair, non-control top, fashion textured tights. So here's what these look like. We got a little bow chicka wow wow going on right back there. Also, um, this was size large through extra large. Fa oh, is this the one I just showed you? My bad. Yeah, I got two of those. Um, they're both large, extra large. So that was two of those. Then I found Hanes Beyond Tights, seasonless light coverage. And these are like a, a sheer nylon, right? And here's some of their sizing on the back. Then I found, there's two of the, these are both the same. This is size 1X to 2X Hanes Beyond Tights Classic Net. <laughs> there's the front of the package and then there's the back of the package. I was like, wow, I don't see a price tag on these anywhere. Let me just move a little bit here. Oh, I don't see a price tag on here anywhere, but there is a scan bar. I'll try scanning it um, with my phone after I'm done recording tonight and see, but I don't know. Those definitely are worth more than a buck and a coin for sure. Alrighty. Also, in the clothing section, before I wrap up clothing section... When my daughter was little, we used to watch Arthur, and uh, these are so cute. So PBS, Arthur, these are two pairs, and it says fit shoe size 7 through 2, and it's Arthur and his sister, and there is pair number two. These are really nice. I mean, they feel nice, and they are made in the USA. Whoop, whoop, and they are PBS socks. Another pair of socks, two pairs, sizes one through seven, and this is Eleanor Wonders Why. Look at his little foot. I love the little foot. There's that one, and there is that one. Can you believe the brand names that are flying around Dollar Tree? Unbelievable. Alrighty, I went to 18 minutes. My bad. All right, everyone. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the brand new subscribers that have popped in to say hi. Thank you so much. There's so many of us out there, but you know what? We all do our own thing and we do it in a different way. And that's what makes it all fun. And that's what it's all about. It's not just the thrill of the chase. It's chasing the thrill. And it's how we all do it. Until next time, everyone. Bye for now.